Okay, so this is our first one. And this is in still water. I'd like to kind of give you an idea of what the surrounding area looks like. The uh, measurement from the ground to the the top of that is 611, so I don't know what size your truck is. It does have a few cracks, but that might be cosmetic because of the uh, oh, you can see this little hairline cracks. But that happens in stucco a lot. This little area right here is super cute. You've got to step up. And a little sitting area with gutters. This has a light up there. Just a really nice little beautiful entry area. This is such an ideal floor plan. Wood floors, really well laid. The coat closet. High ceilings. And the big plantation shutters throughout. Arch doorways. You have the laundry room, good size. Got room for a refrigerator right here. Little muck area. And the garage water softener. Two water heaters. And behind that little panel right there is uh, like a it's a water fuse box, so if you've got to turn one particular piece of plumbing off, um, you can instead of shutting all of the water off. High ceilings in here. Let's go look at the flooring. This is the media room. Double doors, no windows. It's got a step, and it even has, if I can get the light straight. There, it has the little lights down on the step so you don't trip. But for the movie night, it's got a place for the surround sound to plug into. To the left of the front door are secondary bedrooms. Nice wide hallway here. You'll have one room. With a very large, deep walk-in closet. All of these are heavy duty, big shutters. You have your secondary bathroom. One sink, but room for two. Tub combo. Clean. And a little linen closet. Roomy linen closet. 
high counters. Another room. Reach in closet. And the last room. This one is ideal because it's roomy, lots of light, and its own bathroom. Reasonable size closet space. Single vanity. And a clean tub shower combo. Little windows up here. And now for the living room. Nice and open. This, uh, this island is perfect hip height. So you're not gonna have to crawl onto a bar stool. Everything can just be pushed right over to the sink. I have like a little coffee bar here, tall cabinets, walk-in pantry, and a full-size double oven, five burner gas, built-in microwave, Nice pulls, not soft clothes, has some under cabinet lighting, and a whole little extra cabinet area. Buffet, I think that's what they're, built-in buffet. Dishwasher and sink are on this side. Just wide open. No formal dining. But consider this your breakfast area, that's your dining area. Master bedroom, big, big, big. Plantation shutters. This is pretty big furniture. This is really big furniture. And there's still plenty of room to maneuver around in here. And if the master is not big enough, the master bathroom <laughs> is. This is big enough for your mother and your grandmother to share. <laughs> it's huge. Good size closet. Separate water closet. Plenty of room. Now for what I consider the bonus of the house because the downstairs floor plan is probably enough on its own, but you have stairs going up. And if you're gonna have stairs in your house, at least have a landing. That way you only have so far to, uh, so far to fall can only pick up so much speed. Up here is a whole nother bonus room. It does have a half bath. Not a full shower, or you could make it another bedroom. 
little game closet and attic entry and I don't have a key for that but this house is definitely a well-maintained well thought out um, piece of property That couch is so retro. And in great condition. So here's your back porch. Just enough yard. Those look like red tips, so they should provide a certain amount of privacy yard is in premium condition not a broadleaf anywhere roofs in excellent shape from what i can see down here kids next door four sides brick I guess three sides brick, first front is uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. Stucco. Okay, I'll get this to you. You let me know what you think.